start. I hope you had a good lunch. Um, I welcome you to the session Custom Fields, which will be released then in Joomla 3.7. Um, my name is Alan Moritz. I'm founder of a Digital Peak Joomla extension company. Um, I started in 2007 with my first Joomla extensions as a hobby and now I do it professionally. The agenda for today, um, basically it's, um, I'm talking about uh, stuff for the end user, not development stuff. I will first um, give now information about the background, how the project went, then the, the concept, how it is integrated in the article manager, then for users and contacts, then layout overrides to adapt it to, the, to your existing site, then an avatar field example, and then at the end a couple of hidden features, and then a question part if there are some. You can also, if you have a question in between, you can just raise your hand and then I try to answer the questions. Um, all started with uh, requirements of my customers. They needed uh, custom fields and uh, we have a couple of extensions. So I tried to find a way to make, not to copy to every extension the custom fields feature, but instead of making a base one, which can be installed for the people who want it. Um, we called it DP fields. Uh, we made it uh, available to the public for free. It's a GitHub repository. Um, and then we start. We asked in the Joomla development mailing list if it would be for interest to have that in the core. Uh, got some positive feedback, and then we started the custom fields project uh, this year in March. And it went on in its own repository, and then on the 30th of, of October it got merged into the core. And now we're finalizing stuff. There's still some issues open. Um, if you if you want to have a look or if you want to help testing, um, on this I put the slides then on my website. Like with um, on the CMS repo, you can search for the for the issues of pull requests with com fields. Um, then you will find all open issues for it. The concept of the custom fields um, basically it's not a CCK can't define your own content types, doing some widgets and stuff like that. Uh, the custom fields project was basically is now the base for it. And if there will be once the need to have CCK in the core, I guess we can build it on top of uh, com fields. But at the moment, there is no uh, CCK functionality. It's also not a standalone component. It is meant to be integrated into existing components, into the article manager, into the users manager, or in third party component developers. They, can, uh, they should be able then to easily integrate it. For example, um, Thomas Hunziker, which is maintainer of uh, Joomla, he has also his own extensions, and it took him, like, I guess, four hours to have custom fields in his own component. So what is it then? It's a, basically it's a component which serves other components with custom fields functionality. Um, to have it need like um, to have le at less um, code changes in a component as possible, we made a system plugin which integrates through a Joomla events. Uh, it's a little bit technical. But basically, you can turn off the whole uh, custom fields functionality just with disabling the system fields plugin. Um, it integrates into existing forms, so we, it doesn't do any magic uh, HTML form output. It really, it, it um, it's technically it's extending the existing form, and these new form fields will be then displayed with every like every other form field. Um, it has, Brian said this morning, like 15 or so different uh, types, like media, text, SQL, text area, to the common one, which are available in Joomla. Um, it's for sure it's MVC coded, like any Joomla 3 component nowadays should be. Um, 
even it works like categories, it has not, it's not a known system for itself. Like categories, you don't have a global category manager where you define the categories for each component. Um, it uses J layouts to generate, to generate the HTML output. That's like that you will have then the, the freedom to adapt it really to your needs. And also the, the third party extension developers that they can then do layout overrides for custom fields. Um, and as I said already, it should be easily integrated first, or third party component developers should be able to easily integrate it without much code changes, just by following some rules. When you open the new um, the new branch, or like what is staging now actually in, um, in pre-alpha, you will see there in the article manager, there's two, two new menu items, like fields and field groups. In the fields menu items, I define the, the different new custom fields and the field groups. Um, like them, I can group in them that I have new tabs with a, with a new name. I will demonstrate that later then in the, in the demo. Creating a new field is like relatively easy as you are as you do with articles and everywhere. You have in the, in the toolbar you have a button new, you click on it, and then you have to define some uh, title which is required and the type. The type means uh, like even text, text area, SQL or whatever. And after you created the field, you can't change them the type anymore. A label is also required, but that's um, on default is made from uh, from the title. But you can change it that you have that the field itself has a different title in the list, and the label in the form can also be different. When I go then to the article, I will see when I don't assign a field to a group, I will see a new tab fields, and there we can then add my custom value to the article. The whole thing is also implemented uh, through us. Through, uh, it's not really. I don't know why it's so dark, so bright. Yeah. Anyway, here you have an article. Here are the standard fields like which category it belongs to, when it was created or published, who is the author, and then in the same way you will see then below it the custom fields value. That's also like that is it's integrated uh, through through content events. That, um, that we had, as I was building DP fields, I was integrating it without any core, core changes, and it was, the value was automatically displayed then here in the front end. Questions till now? And I would do it Oh yeah, Nicholas. Can you define your own uh, field types? Like you can with Core Joomla. Uh, yeah, I will explain that later. Then you can do with uh, with plugins. Good. Perhaps we see it in the demo as well. So when you go here to to the article manager, you see. Um, sidebar articles and here I have the, the menu fields I can um, create a new field as I like trees then I define here a type for example I give it a list and then uh, some additional options will be loaded I can define here then for example RG. what is this short Austria. Save it. And then I can define also like a even a different label, for example. Um, I put the demo, then a, a short description. 
this line, then if it's required or not, I can give it the default value. If multiple should be should be shown, then some publishing stuff and options. I can give it, for example, when it's a text field, I can give it a hint and also permissions. And then I save it. And we'll see here the list of uh, of custom fields. I can even go to the groups, say I give it data creating group data and then when I go back to fields assign it to that group and now when I go to the article I will have here a new tab data which shows then my countries which I can select and then, then make save and close um, feature it when I go to the front end, I will see here then the list of, of countries I have selected. Same works also on front end. Um, can you take it away? And then I have here then the list of countries I've selected for that article. It's, um, it's basically, it's uh, basic stuff, but it was, uh, it was like the need of a lot of people just to have this simple functionality for, for, that, uh, for that custom field. The same works also for uh, users. You can create the for the user custom fields or for contacts. Contacts is a, is a little bit special. For example, um, sometimes you have more than one context in your component. For example, for DP Calendar, this is my event component. I have events, locations, bookings, tickets. Um, and for them, I want for every I wanted to create custom fields which were available only for tickets or for bookings or for locations. And then I needed a, a way to define f to define um, different contexts, and that's for uh, for contacts we made here the same. I can create custom fields which are available on the contact, and and I can define uh, custom fields which are available only on the mail form. Um, these custom fields will be sent then with the with the contact form uh, together in the mail to the to the contact email address. Um, you guys want to see some more stuff? Custom fields. Um, what else? Yeah, we do the, the contact, I guess. Create a new contact. Use for it. Email. So when I now create a new menu item, single contact. Now when I have my, the contact form, it shows here to the field, and that field uh, will be sent then together uh, with the with the mail to the to the contact itself. It's a uh, it's good if you have like a contact form. Want to say okay, for example, to which be uh, department belongs this um, this contact request or whatever you want. Oh, this custom fields also available for modules. For for modules. Um, you mean displaying the custom fields in modules, for example, yes. for an article? Or sure. it, yeah, the the news. I guess the news flash module is 
it's possible, but it's not on all modules implemented because the events are missing. But uh, it should be then easy doable. We had in DP fields, we had to, <laughs> we had even you could create custom fields for a module okay. itself. But that I didn't know why this person wanted that, but it was like three lines of code to change and modules had a. Does it work uh, with categories or not? Yeah, yeah that's a good. You can um, you have here the custom fields, the article category. I want to, for example, say have another category. I have here now two article categories, and when I go to the field, I can say, okay, show that field, not on all, but only on another category. And now. When I go to the to the demo article, which belongs to uncategorized, the field is not shown anymore. Uh, what happens with the data that is now currently assigned to uh, your uh, demo article? Because you disabled you disabled it, but it's uh -huh. probably still in the database. Yeah, it's still in the database. Yeah. Okay. When I when I take it away, I guess so. It will be shown in the still the same okay. data. And another question. Uh, the current Joomla contact form has a subject, uh, name, email address, a message. Mm -hmm. Should that not be get rid of, uh, get rid of and just use the custom uh, fields for that? Yeah, I mean, to, to, uh, to send the mail, yeah. you need the subject and the message. Uh, yeah, but maybe if you do it with uh, custom fields, you can uh, order yourself. Yeah, the problem then is, uh, yes, you could uh, get where you're coming from, mm. but there's a backwards compatibility issue. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I 4.0 here disable that. Okay. Going to yeah. 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 That, that. <laughs> <laughs> what about multi language? It's not because of you. No, no, we're, we're laughing for a different reason. <laughs> <laughs> we're laughing for a different reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there an issue with it or is not? Um, if you ask us, no. No! <laughs> <laughs> um, the Joomla way of doing it that every item has a language um, setting. The same happens here. Uh, you can define the language for a, for a custom field. And when you, for example, edit then the uh, the article which belongs to a category, only fields are displayed which belong also to the same category. But about that, the maintainers are still debating about if that really makes sense to have that, because now groups got uh, rewritten to, they're not categories anymore. To m on my initial implementation, they have been like categories. And there is again the debate if language should be assignable to a group or not, and how the inheritance. <coughs> so it works, it's multilingual. Um, but you have to implement everything completely twice or yeah. three times or whatever. Mm, not really. Not it's really. Um, the label and the value, no, I guess, I guess the value not, but the label, they, it's. Um, it's Paired into text, but you have to add the strings in a in the label field by your own as a con as a language override. It's it's yeah. Even oh, I see <laughs> it's quite technical. Yeah, I it is because if you have labels or something like that, then one time it's German, then it's English, then it's yeah. whatever. The and so you have to create actually twice the same fields mm -hmm. only because of the label. Mm -hmm. Is it? Is it? Can you just put the the language string in the in the that's how it is. Yep. Yeah. That's how so it is. So you can now. create your own language streams mm. in the language override part yeah. and add it in the as label. Yeah. Only the language, but where to put it in the template, or is there? All, I know. No, in a, basically you can do a language override, and Just then language it's override. A, it's a, it's in the language file. Okay. Maybe you can show it as you. Language string and put in the I all it was not me who did this pull request, so I don't know if it works, <laughs> but uh, we can try it. Yeah. Um, it does work, but it needs a merge. So if I have here the 
label uh, country. country. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you even don't have to use uppercase. Yeah, it's just like that we really yeah, know it's then. So here on the front page it's displayed with a country in uppercase letter or letter. And then when I do a language override, that's English side tag. Um, I do the German. Mm -hmm. Would it become underscore fields underscore country? Doesn't matter. Mm. No. That's what you wanted. <laughs> it's better if you do, because then you don't run into the duplication issues yeah. Yeah, if you mm. use country mm. elsewhere. Mm. Like but a fixed prefix. Yeah, yeah, but you don't have to. But that, no. that, so you it's up to us. It, you just saw that you don't need to do anything, mm. it will just do it. Yeah, but okay. if you were doing other fields mm. that you had the same word in, you could have hit the problem. So yeah. it's better to, to help with your own. What if you uh, kept it just in a lowercase? Uh, I guess that. What you mean here? Oh, another so idea, a new label. Yeah, that's. Oh, you yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. It's I guess. Work. Yeah, that should, should work as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any difference. It just we we use uppercase just for convention. Yeah. 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 So now it should. Mm. Ah. Okay. Cool. Okay, you can convert it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's. Mm. Ooh, upper uppercase independent. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so. so maybe we need to automatic put the common square fields for it. No, uh, some square fields. No, it's same. Anything that runs through JTAG. Mm -hmm. so. I can do it like that with a J before. Then it starts putting them globally. Good. Uh, more questions or stuff? Which I, I have an override for the front end edit. Yeah, for the front end edit. But mm. it just works when I add something. Of course, not when I want to edit the article afterwards. I think it would be cool to have an option for, I don't know, category of the article to select. Uh, alternate layout. When you, uh, that's uh, we are for when you're editing stuff. We don't have to do any. We don't do any output. Yeah, it's I just throw out everything and just there are just the custom fields and mm -hmm. the title. But when I edit the article, I cannot use my alternate layout. Yeah, you can. You, I'll show you after. It's I not. Can? It's not fields like. Huh? It's not fi it's not a custom fields thing. It's a Joomla thing. It's a Joomla yeah, thing, but, but it would be a collection of custom fields that would be a good yeah, thing. Yeah, hopefully what I've got here will show you. That. Okay. It's a shame because it's using Neil Snoogle's plugin to do it. Oh, okay. So uh, it's okay. a shame he's had to go. Okay. okay. Yeah. <coughs> Is it possible to create some sort of filtering option on the front end? So. Now you have selected a couple of countries, mm -hmm. and what if you have a filter option on the front end of the website to show only uh, the articles that have this certain custom field? I guess that's the most question for custom fields. Uh, the problem here is, or my, my default answer here is, that Juma itself doesn't really have a system for front end, for list, mm, list views to filter, sort, or whatever. It's still everything is rudimentary, and I guess it's probably when we start doing that in the right way, then adding custom fields functionality would be would be relatively easy. But the big thing that you can do that custom fields does, as opposed to other solutions that do the same, th that do the same thing, is you're storing each value JSON. as not as JSON oh. as fields. Yeah, so that gives you the possibility to write your code to do what you want to do. Whereas with the other solutions where they're storing with JSON, which means that they're storing all the answers in one long string and then having to decode it, mm -hmm. you can't do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, to, you can't do it at all, whereas this way you've got the potential to do it. So you can write a plugin and just filter on it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Because it's, it is pure in the database. Mm. The, the thing is like this pull request was like, I don't know, 250 files big or so. And adding even all kind of that functionality to it would really like making almost no reviewable. It was, <laughs> and I think that's, that's then we'll see how the community will accept that and where we need to go and yeah. Definitely, it's something that's uh, definitely something on some point which will be implemented. Yeah. Um, is it possible um, to choose where the custom fields are displayed in the content in the article by Orowide, for example, in templates? For example, I want the field um, county at the top and the field picture at the bottom after the text and something like that in a own div with a special class or whatever. So I can create my own article designs with this fix. Um, I don't know if you okay. know that there are four events. Like the you can f you can basically you can show the field after the title, before the description, and after description. That's like technically the, that's three Joomla element, and that you can set on the field itself. You can say automatic display, and then you can say after the title, before the display, after display. You can even say no. Okay. And yeah, use global, then it takes from the system plugin. But can I borrow write this so that I can define my own where I want to place this in, a, in the article? It's not as easy to um, <laughs> You can do it with a layout override. Yeah, okay. there, there you can do, and you have then also in your, or with a template override. And in the template override on the article itself, you have a new variable fields. Yeah where all the fields are available, so you can place your for loop wherever you want. So I can choose one field in the row and say place this here and place this yeah. there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Is your installation not up to date or am I missing the global setting display? Use global, global and what is the global setting? Uh, we might not have done that. No. Good That's point. good, yeah. yeah the, the bit that shows what the global is, we yeah. make a note on that. Okay, that's staging, I don't know which one. Yeah, yeah, we have to do that. Okay, yeah, I guess then. Please make a pull request. <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, that's good. There's lots of places where you'll see that. Um, good, yeah, that's the demo. Um, I guess we, I'm here for the whole conference, so if you guys want to know something more deeply, then don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, I'm always happy about feedback. Even we, um, we had uh, users and contacts, I was showing that quickly. At the moment, it's, um, it will, it's with the three six years, it's not possible to let uh, visitors on your, or like, um, members of your site to edit their profile and show this data um, on the front end, like in a, in a users list over there. Um, with custom fields, I added an option that on the contact itself you can show if the contact is um, is bound to a or like connected with an existing user that you can show custom fields of that user. At the moment, you had um, there was a restriction with the profile plugin, contact plugin, which was showing um, um, some some more fields for the user than the one which are available. And with this new setting, you can really integrate in the custom fields of of a user in a contact. So you can make kind of a membership site where you show the list of uh, of contacts and then the, on the contact details what the custom fields of a user. Um, contact form, I was showing that already. And it's coming to your question about layout or layouts. It's, um, we use in com fields, we use on two points uh, layouts. One layout is um, to render the value of the field, and the other layout is to automatically display it below the, the details of an article. Um, why did we use layouts there? Because it allows the site administrator to, um, to override it, to adapt it to its site. And additionally, it um, allows the component developer to adapt it to its site. 
uh, to its component. For ex an example was uh, again com contact. There the contact shows the fields differently than an article. On an article, uh, as we have seen, it's, uh, they have this, uh, they are gray, and on contacts they are black. And so I had to do a on contact uh, layout override and adapt their give the basically giving the, the diff or the DL element another class and it shows now tightly integrated in the in the contact. The people who are not using layout overrides um, will never touch that but the ones who do they will be really happy about the flexibility. Um, the same goes for output. You can override the output of the whole list or uh, you can override then the output of a single field. Um, you can do that globally for every custom field or you can override it then for every extension or only for extensions. Um, it's also possible now to make an avatar custom field. Um, Basically, it uses the media manager, so you kind of need to trust the people um, on your site. But I had a small, small uh, membership site I'm maintaining where I basically know all the 50 people which have an account there. And then um, I gave them the possibility to upload um, fields. And the media field has a setting home directory. Where it, can, where it creates automatically a home directory and points to that directory when they create on select image field. So they will upload the fields then only to their home directory and not globally and also can't switch them to, the, to, the, to other, other users' home fields. And with, even with that, we really have a basic um, membership site with, with an avatar field. It's still not security proof because you still can switch to the to the other directories through the switch on the top. I've disabled it or hit I've I have hit I hit hi I hidden. I hidden it. Oh I hate. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> um, yeah, and then basically the switch was not displayed and like that they really only work on their own home directories. Um, as I've seen already, every field has some uh, common options like even hint or where to display. Um, ACL is implemented. You can define the access level for a field. It uh, defines who can see it. Um, you can give it some permissions. We have now a new permission who can edit the field. That makes sense in terms of, for example, if you have a certification site where only the site admin can define which user as a which certification um, and even as said already they are language multilingually supported um, yeah that's so basically the the main features which are not obvious on the first point yeah, as I said feedback is welcome um, yeah it's now in three point it's now in core and yeah I hope you will like it um, questions? So I, got, I, when I was doing the demo, mm -hmm. or preparing the data for the demo, I got it confused between the image field, the media field, and there's another one. Gallery field, I think. Mm -hmm. About which one's which, and when to use them, and the consistency of the options within each one. Mm -hmm. oh, if you look the at naming, from, from the journal fields, no? Sorry? The journal fields itself uh, are named like that. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. it, yeah, but it, it's, I think in, in one of them, mm -hmm. you've got a drop down to select the home. The existing drop. fields, yeah. Yeah, the existing category, and then the other, the other field type that's image related, you've got to manually type it in. I guess one is the media field where you can select the field. Yeah. And the other is like where you can choose from the existing fields. Was it like that? Yeah, it's something like that. Um, but it, it just uh, I wasn't sure what was supposed to be the difference. But was that because they're just those are the core fields that we already have? I guess as I used it to, as I was implementing it, I first thought, okay, I need the image field. Then I saw, okay, there's an image form field. Yeah. I used that, and then I said, okay, I can't upload. 
So which one is then the one who is uploading then the media field and I don't know if I forgot to remove the original image field but then yeah. At the end I don't know if it makes really sense to have a media field and an image field. Um, the gallery field, oh yeah that's I wanted to, to show. Um, yeah, the gallery field is really a gallery um, with a small gallery script. That's the one that's an extra plugin. Yeah. And here I can define then some some thumbnails with um, the max width of the of the images itself. If it should be recursive then, and in which directory to start with. Save, close, and when I now go to the article, I here tab fields, and then I can. Ah, that was the way I was missing. Select it, and now we should see here a gallery with um, with the images of that field. Um, that is implemented as a plugin. There is a new uh, plugin group fields. It's uh, for us extension developers. <laughs> they have a new business <laughs> business. <laughs> Business area um, fields. Here is the field gallery. Uh, yeah, at the moment it doesn't have any settings, but basically like that you will be then, or we extension developers will be then able to do, for example, Twitter fields, maps, mm -hmm. or whatever. It's like I can see a big potential for for Joomla now to have then to have the new custom fields where we can select them. And you said there are no options, but the options were the number of plays. Yeah, the but the yeah, but they were the options. Well, so those are the options when you set up that gallery. Yeah. Whereas in here, you might have, oh, because the in the plugin, it would be the generic yeah. option, the general yeah. option, global option. Yeah, yeah for example, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can even def probably define global options and also some option, for example, if you do a Twitter field, that you there, you put the secret key and I don't know the API key or stuff like that. Yeah, I guess if there are no more questions, then I will say thank you and I enjoy the rest of the conference. <laughs>